Animal protein increases your risk of IBD. Okay, animal protein putrefies in the gut. So if you think about years and years of damage that you've caused your body, you've created a dysbiosis in the gut by not eating the right foods, and this food start, starts rotting and putrefying inside of you, okay, and then what happens is that all these toxins start leaching into our intestinal walls, okay, and then, then start to go into the bloodstream. Okay, and when they go into the bloodstream, that's when our body alerts itself that, hey, there's something going on down there, let's send a whole lot of blood to that affected area. And that's why inflammation happens. Hey guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at High Carb Health and also click on the green H so you get to see exactly what I eat and what I get up to every single day. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you get all our notifications for our recent uploads. Hey guys, welcome to another video. The best kept secret in medicine today is that the body can actually heal itself. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that if you just get out the way, the body can actually do the self-healing work it's supposed to do when our body is in dis-ease. If you haven't already got this book, Self-Healing Colitis and Crohn's, please go check it out, get a copy for yourself and read it. Okay, because in this video, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about self-healing and where toxicity comes from. Okay, so before we do that, I'm just going to play a short clip from Dr. Michael Greger, who talks about self-healing, all right? He has an amazing YouTube channel, and he has an amazing resource online called nutritionfacts.org, which he goes through all the science, okay? He goes through all the science, the research, and he talks about how to prevent and reverse disease through a plant-based diet. So go check out his website. And check out his YouTube channel as well. Let me share with you what's been called the best kept secret in medicine. The best kept secret in medicine is that sometimes, given the right conditions, the body can heal itself. You know, if you whack your shin really hard on a coffee table, you can get all red, hot, painful, swollen, inflamed, but will heal naturally if you just stand back and let your body work its magic. But what if you kept whacking your shin in the same place day after day. In fact, three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It never healed. You'd go to your doctor and be like, oh, my shin hurts. The doctor would be like, no problem. Whip out their pad, write your prescription for painkillers. You're still whacking your shin three times a day. Oh, it still really hurts like heck, but oh, it feels so much better with those pain pills on board. Thank heavens for modern medicine. So why is this doctor not pushing pills? Because he believes that the body can heal itself. Just like I have, and so many other people have healed themselves from a number of diseases, right? So how is it that I was able to heal myself from ulcerative colitis, and how is it that so many other people can do this? It's about reducing the toxic load in the body. So three times a day, what are we doing to the body? We are ingesting foods that are very, very toxic to us. And let's just point this out for a second. The majority of people that get disease, whether it's heart disease, diabetes, cancer, stroke, Alzheimer's, IBD, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's, IBS, they're not really eating lots and lots of fruit and vegetables to begin with, are they? So why do you think the body ends up in this state? It's not because they're eating fruits and vegetables, it's because they're eating processed foods for one, because processed foods are harmful. They're also eating lots of animal, animal products. And you know, people that are vegetarian, you're still drinking a lot of milk, cheese, yogurt, you know, animal protein, animal fats, saturated fat, cholesterol is all in these foods, which creates disease of the body. Okay, if it's not heart disease, it's stroke. If it's not stroke, 
it's Alzheimer's. If it's not Alzheimer's, it's diabetes. If it's not diabetes, it's cancer, some cancers. And if it's not cancer, it's IBD. Or if it's not IBD, it's IBS. So you are creating conditions for your body that your body does not like and therefore goes into a state of dis-ease. So what do you need to do? Take a step back, allow the self-healing process to begin and put your body back into ease. And you do that through detoxification or you do that through cleansing your body, allowing your body to go through the healing process. And once you come out the other side, you are going to be a new person. That's what happened to me when I went through my healing phase and my journey and so many other people that you've seen on our testimonial. So check it out, okay? Because they go through a process of healing. And, you know, when you have IBD or IBS, when you're on medications, there's always several flare-ups that happen, right? Because what medication actually does is it suppresses the body from actually doing the healing work, okay? And so you feel good, you feel fine when you take the medication, but as soon as you come off the medication, or you know, for, for two or three years you don't have any symptoms, and bang, it comes back. That's because your body is trying to heal itself all the time, but we just don't give it the right conditions because one, we eat the wrong foods, okay? We eat foods that retoxify our bodies. And where, where does this toxin come from? Animal protein increases your risk of IBD. Okay, animal protein putrefies in the gut, okay, causing all sorts of bad bacteria in there, okay, and then you get in bacterial endotoxins, which are part of the process or part of that toxicity that needs to come out of you. So if you think about years and years of damage that you've caused your body, you've created a dysbiosis in the gut by not eating the right foods, and this food start, starts rotting and putrefying inside of you, okay, and then what happens is that all these toxins start leaching into our intestinal walls, okay, and then, then start to go into the bloodstream. Okay, and when they go into the bloodstream, that's when our body alerts itself that, hey, there's something going on down there. Let's send a whole lot of blood to that affected area. And that's why inflammation happens. Okay? Inflammation is not necessarily a bad thing, okay? Because your body is trying to heal itself. It sends a whole lot of beautiful healing cells, T cells, phagocytes, white blood cells, red blood cells to that affected area to try and repair. It's the same thing as when you get a bump on your head. It gets swollen. Okay, that's why your rectum and your intestinal tract gets swollen because it's damaged. Okay, and how do we stop that damage? Well, three times a day, if we stop eating the foods that create the problem in the first place, we are reducing our risk of getting these toxins in us. Okay. And we're also creating a symbiosis by eating lots of fiber, okay? Fiber is essential for our bodies to heal, okay? However, you can't just eat any kind of fiber. You have to understand that the body needs soft, soluble foods, okay? Soluble fiber, which come from bananas, papayas, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, potatoes, all these beautiful, soft foods. So when you bake them, when you steam them, they're very soft in your mouth and when you blend them it's even easier to digest because it's already pre-chewed. So when you're putting this food inside of you what happens is that your body gets a, a your body gets the ability to heal itself. And obviously decades of damage that you've been caught that that have been caused by eating the wrong foods are going to come out of you because these toxins stay in our body. It stays in the fat cells, it stays in our organs and we need to eliminate it somehow. Removing our stool or eliminating our stool from the body is a major way that the body removes toxicity. It also removes toxicity, toxicity through our nose, through our sweat, and through urine. Okay, So these are all methods of the body trying to heal itself. And unfortunately, we don't know what to do. And once we start to figure that out, once we start to agree that our body is trying to heal itself, we understand and we go through the process of healing. So you're in a healing crisis when you're eating the right foods, if you have increased symptoms. Some people don't even have increased symptoms and they go onto a plant-based diet, they eat lots of fiber, they create lots of short-chain fatty acids in the gut, which lower inflammation levels, which, you know, butyrate is something that our gut microbiome actually produces to reduce inflammation levels. So to reduce that toxic load on the body. So if you have a toxic overburden, you need to reduce this. And that's why people 
generally go through the healing crisis. Okay, so these toxins are not only obviously with food, they're environmental pollutants as well. So the air that we breathe, the air that we breathe, um, the, the medicine that we take, um, obviously the meats and, and the animal products, the pesticides um, on the fruits and vegetables, uh, and the pesticides that are in the fruits and vegetables that the animals eat, and then the antibiotics that are given to the animals, um, all that adds up to toxicity in the body. Same as alcohol. Alcohol is toxic to the body. So if you're drinking that, you're also creating more toxicity in the body. All right. So obviously, yes, if you can get organic fruits and vegetables, that will have a less of a burden on your body. Okay. So the idea is to reduce that toxic load and allow the body to go through that healing phrase. It's not to eat more meat and dairy and eggs. Um, to reduce your symptoms because it's not about symptom relief. It's actually looking at the root cause of the problem. And the root cause of the problem is a overburden of toxins from the food that we eat and from the environment that we're exposed to. All right. The body does a really good job of eliminating its these toxins naturally. However, when there's that toxic overburden, when we eat bad foods, when we eat processed foods, junk, lots of meat, dairy and eggs, we overload the system, okay? And we create dysbiosis. We create this bad bacteria that we have inside of our guts. And so that's why, one of the reasons why our microbiome is not working properly is because we're not feeding it fiber, okay? Fiber is essential for your microbiome to sort itself. And if you haven't read the book, Fiber Fueled, please go and get it and please read it because you will understand what I'm talking about again. So. When you combine the two together, when you combine the self-healing protocol, when you combine the science behind why fiber is good for you, you are winning right here. So that's my explanation of how the body actually heals. So you will get increased symptoms, okay? So you may have more blood, more mucus, but you will go through that phase of healing. And if you're strong enough mentally to get through that, you will get to the other side and you will go through... Um, you know, a pleasant experience, let's say. It will be uncomfortable, but also you will get good days and bad days. And you will just see how the body is actually removing all this toxicity that you have inside of it. Okay, because I'm eating the same foods as you guys, lots of fiber, and I don't have any of those issues anymore because I've gone through the process of reversing the damage that I had caused in the first place. I didn't start out by eating healthy, and that's not why I got sick, okay? I got better by eating healthy, okay? So if you have any questions, please comment down below and I will try and address them as, as best I can. And if you give this video a thumbs up, if you liked it and subscribe for more videos like this as well. But that's what self-healing is in a nutshell. Three times a day, we either create disease or we don't create disease and we allow our body to heal itself. It's pretty straightforward and it's pretty easy. Just get out the way of the beautiful body, all right? So that's how it works. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up if you know what it's like to have colitis or Crohn's disease and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. This channel was about helping people recover from colitis and Crohn's disease. If you go to our website and fill out the health survey, you are entitled to a free 30 minute consult from anywhere in the world. We look forward to hearing from you. And always remember, there is a life after colitis and Crohn's.